Hi there, I'm Randy with 7U Ranch in Lucille, Idaho. I want to talk about three things really fast that you can do with your pork fat. Um, we get a lot of questions and requests for ideas for um, things you can do and also instructions on how to make lard. So lard is super easy. We're going to use pasture fed pork fat today. Um, you can also use beef fat, pasture fed beef fat, which we do today we're using pork. So I just um, pour about a quarter cup of water which will evaporate during the process in the bottom of our pot and then I thaw our fat but not all the way. Keep it a little bit frozen. It makes it much easier to cut up into chunks and trim any meat off of. So we didn't have a lot of trimmings to do today so that was great but I fill it up to the top and then there's going to be three different layers of fat I'm going to pull off of this. I'm going to wait a couple hours and keep it on low or warm. We don't want it sizzling and frying, we just want it melting. So our first fat is going to be our cleanest fat. You can use that to make, um, you can pour it into jars and let it get thick and hard and use that to make pies or anything like you would use a heavier fat for. Um, it makes awesome, delicious pies, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow for Thanksgiving. The second thing we're going to use that really clean fat for, I'm going to clean it up a little more and it'll smell not at all. And I'm going to use essential oils and make some and add some beeswax to it to harden it a little bit more. And um, I'm going to make some candles, some really nice clean long burning uh, candles with um, that are going to be, they're going to smell great because we just I get tired of all the um, perfumey smells and everything and it gives us all a headache so I'd rather use essential oils and um, use the aromatherapy from the candles for that. So we are going, you can see I have my jars ready here to start on that. I have about 40 I'm going to do today. The second layer of fat that's going to come off is going to take some more time but it um, might taste a little stronger so you can still use that for pies or you know like meat pies with a crust or anything like that or biscuits um, but you can also use it for cooking you know frying or anything like that then um, the last bit that I pour off I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer and melt the rest of it out um, what I can do with that last bit is fry anything um, use it as a frying oil so um, that and then you can just label your jars keep it in the fridge and it will last quite a while so um, I hope that helps I think a lot of people use the leftover little bits for cracklins um, you can do that put it on salads or different things like that sometimes we have sometimes I don't do it sometimes I just um, give it to our, the, the dogs or something like that but Anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas. If you have any questions, just go ahead and give me a comment below or just email me and I'm happy to answer and help if, if I can. So, Or if you have other ideas of things you want to do with fat, but you have questions, just let me know. I'd love to help you. Thanks.